Hi, I'm Brenda Smeaton. I'm the legal director of the Georgia Justice Project. Hopefully by now you've heard the good news after years of effort to bring Georgia more in line with other states. The Georgia legislature has finally passed a bill that will allow more people to restrict and seal records of convictions from their criminal history. Restriction and sealing is what you may know as expungement, which is what most other states call it, but the process is similar. So the, the bill that was passed is SB 288. It passed unanimously out of both the House and Senate, and it is now waiting for Governor Kemp to sign it. Governor Kemp has 40 days to sign it from, from the date that it passed out of the legislature, so that would put us out to about August 7th. If he signs it before then, it will become law. Otherwise, if he takes no action, it will become law on that day. One thing, one reason that we wanted to update you today is to let you know that even after it's signed, it will not become effective until January 1st, 2021. This means that we can't actually submit anything to be able to restrict and seal the record of your conviction until that date. So we do have to wait a little bit and we can take some steps in the meantime to go ahead and prepare, but we wanted to make sure everybody understood that. So a little bit about what SB 288 covers. It doesn't cover all convictions and that's something we can continue to work on to expand the law. But what it does cover is it allows an individual to restrict and seal the record of up to two misdemeanor convictions from their record. There are some exceptions um, for what those convictions can be. But up to two, the process requires that we file a petition with the judge and that ultimately the judge signs off on whether or not they're going to go ahead and seal that from your record. Also, fortunately, we were able to include some felonies. If you have received a, fel a pardon for a felony offense, then you will be able to petition the judge to restrict and seal the record of that offense from your criminal history as well. So it will not show up for employers and housing providers and other and others. If you have questions about any of those things, you can always reach out to us at www.gjp.org to get more information about how to connect with our intake staff. Another positive development that we wanted to let you know about in criminal records is that SB 435 passed this session. And what that does is it allows individuals who were convicted of a crime, whether misdemeanor or felony, that was the direct result of their being a victim of sex or human trafficking to petition a court to vacate that conviction and then seal it as well. That has already been signed by the governor and went into effect immediately. So we can take advantage of that new law now. Over the next couple of weeks, Georgia Justice Project is going to be developing materials and as soon as SB 288 is signed, we'll begin hosting webinars and trainings so people can understand what their rights are under the new law. And we'll also be training volunteer attorneys so, because we hope that everybody who is eligible for these new remedies will be able to take advantage of them. To stay up to date on those training opportunities, please sign up for updates at secondchancegeorgia.org if you haven't had a chance to do that yet. Lastly, I just wanna take this opportunity to thank everyone who helped get us here to help get this law across the finish line, our campaign partners on the Second Chance for Georgia campaign, and also particularly the individuals who bravely shared their story about what it's like to live with a conviction record and the barriers that it imposes to employment and other opportunities for them. We really appreciate that. We do hope that at some point we can celebrate all the hard work that went into this and, and see you face to face when it's safe to do so. For now, um, we look forward to continuing to work together and to seeing you in those online trainings and webinars. Thank you and be safe.